Hey guys, so the long wait is finally over and Tesla pushed out an update that we've been asking for for a very long time. In the latest software update, which is only available to employees for now, it brings many security and bug fixes, but the biggest feature is the introduction of adaptive headlights. What makes the activation of these headlights so special is that it's able to adjust its beam pattern, turn on and off certain pixels to accommodate for road and vehicles around you, and it'll also be able to light certain sides sides of the shoulder as you are turning around a curve. What this means is it'll be able to do everything automatically without having you to put any input into the low beam and high beam aspect of the driving. Going by the recent release of 2024.2, we know that it's going out to the public very soon, but as of right now, it is an internal build, so we haven't been able to see any live demos of it ever since it was released. Well, that is until this very week, we finally got a live demo of how these adaptive headlights work. From from what we can see so far, it works really great and takes all the stress out of driving at night. Thanks to a user by the name of MJR88, which posted a video on X showing us the adaptive headlights in action. If you look closely to the video, you'll notice that it's able to dim and brighten certain areas of the road, especially those very dark, narrow turns. On top of it, the high beams are able to block out a path for the vehicle in front of it and for oncoming traffic, but at the same time, it's also able to dim parts of the glaring sign so you don't have that shining in your face. And as Tesla continues to improve on this, you can expect that with future updates, they will unlock a lot of potential with this new system. We're all on our seats for this one and hopefully with the European certification being approved and NHTSA giving us the recent okay on it, we will be seeing it coming out to everyone at the exact same time. Now, of course, there are a few things that you guys may want additional clarity on. The first one being if this is coming to old their models. So originally this was only for the new Model 3 Highlands, but just recently here we got an approval for all the other models as well. There was a recent addendum to the European certification VC34 and VC09. This has further indicated that the adaptive headlights will be available for the Model 3s dating back to 2021 and for newer Model Ys with the Matrix LEDs. As for the Model S and Model X, this will likely be coming in the next few days. You guys may be seeing some additional addendums, additional revisions to certifications as well. Now, another interesting thing that you guys may want to also keep in mind is that Tesla has gone away with the matrix LEDs for the new Model 3 Highlands and they opted for the reflectors. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it will have some limitations for future upgrades. If you guys want to know more about the differences between matrix and reflector LEDs, go check out my previous video. I'll drop that in the description below, but there are a couple things that you guys want to know about before before you pick up your cars. But all in all, this is really great news and I knew it was never going to be an exclusive feature to the Model 3 Highlands, that this was gonna roll out to all other models at the exact same time. Now this leads us on to the final question here, will this update enable the same feature for older models with reflector bulbs as well? Surprisingly, this includes the Model X prior to late 2023. Tesla was very late to upgrading the headlights on the Model X, so maybe just last year you guys may have picked up a car that had the very OG reflectors. Now I can't say for sure, but if we look closely at the housing units of the older reflectors and the newer ones, you guys will notice that there is a very big difference. And in fact, there is a lot of dimmable zones on the newer headlights and pixels to be accommodated in that housing. So even if Tesla manages to include this feature, it will not be to the same quality as you would get with the newer reflector and hardware. But honestly, you never know, fingers crossed that Tesla is able to activate it on all the Tesla fleet without any problems. So there you guys have it. In a matter of days, you will be seeing this update live in all public cars. That means that you'll be able to install this update and have this new feature right within your settings. This will literally change the way that we drive at night and how convenient it really is and there is literally just one more thing that Tesla needs to fix to make this combination perfect. Anyways, I will keep you guys as posted on everything that comes up so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that bell notification and follow me on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. You guys can chat with me over there and if you guys want to support this channel, I do have a Patreon page which I will link in the description below. Anyways, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.